December 31st Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Proverbs chapter 31 from the Old Testament The words of King Lemuel, an oracle that his mother taught him. O my son, O son of my womb, O son of my vows, do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which ruins kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine or for rulers to crave strong drink, lest they drink and forget what is decreed and remove from all the poor their legal rights. Give strong drink to the one who is perishing and wine to those who are bitterly distressed. Let them drink and forget their poverty and remember their misery no more. Open your mouth on behalf of those unable to speak for the legal rights of all the dying. Open your mouth, judge in righteousness, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a wife of noble character? For her value is far more than rubies. The heart of her husband has confidence in her, and he has no lack of gain. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax, and she is pleased to work with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She brings her food from afar. She also gets up while it is still night and provides food for her household and a portion to her female servants. She considers a field and buys it. From her own income, she plants a vineyard. She begins her work vigorously and she strengthens her arms. She knows that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out in the night. Her hands take hold of the distaff and her hands grasp the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor and reaches out her hand to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all of her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes for herself coverlets. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is well known in the city gate when he sits with the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and honor, and she can laugh at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and loving instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many daughters have done valiantly, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Give her credit for what she has accomplished and let her works praise her in the city gates. God, today is a little bit emotional. Today is the day that we finish recording 730 videos for the Daily Video Bible Project that you blessed me with a couple years ago I am still stunned that you would give me this project this ministry and allow me to be on the front lines of seeing your word work in such amazing ways in so many people's lives this past year as people as more and more people started to watch the videos and listen to your word the stories that came in we're just amazing and it doesn't surprise me in the slightest because I know that with you all things are possible and I know that your word never returns void and I know that if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing if we're being obedient to you then you will bless that and you took <laughs> took your word and carried it off to over 80 different countries there's not even 80 English speaking countries in the world you took it to all these other countries and allowed people to hear your word. How interesting that the last thing we record is Proverbs 31, one of my favorite chapters in the whole Bible. Talking about a, a married woman who is a godly woman, a Christian woman, and in the Christian world, she's held up as an ideal wife. I'm not a wife, uh, I'm not even close to being a wife, but I am your bride, 
And even though this originally was written as an acrostic, a A to Z in the Hebrew language, like a poem layout, God, I, I miss the boat in so many of these areas. But I know that you're working on my heart, and I know that you're working in my life. And I know that every day, every moment, you're changing my heart and my understanding of what your words have meant this past year of recording them. And that I'm working closer to being that A to Z woman, Christian woman that I need to be, and more importantly, the woman that you created me to be for your kingdom. God, I always tell people what the Bible means to me, that it is a book of love letters from a father that physically isn't here with me, but he has left them to his daughter to show her he loves her, he cares about her, and then give her guidance in how she should live her life. God, I pray that this project, this ministry that you've handed to me is pleasing to you. I know that my theology, sometimes I just don't get things completely right. Sometimes I speak more from my heart than listening. I know that sometimes I get wrapped up in things and it may be confusing to other people, but I hope that my heart was in the right place throughout recording all of these and that you will make whatever you need to make right out of this. That you will bless your words so that other people's lives are changed dramatically by them. God, according to your will, according to your timing, I pray that you continue to take these words and spread them to anyone and everyone that you need to have hear them. I remember when you first showed up in my world with this assignment. <laughs> I was in my kitchen and suddenly I started writing and when I was done I had a couple pages of notes and I knew that wasn't for me because I hate to write and I looked down at what I had written and it was this entire business plan for what eventually became daily video Bible you have blessed me with volunteers you have blessed me with money to get projects done you have blessed me with people around the world, even non-Christians who have come and helped with this project. And here we are at the end of it. Well, the end of the recording part. Where every single word in your Bible is recorded and put out onto the internet for anyone and everyone to hear. God, I also thank you for this past year there are days when I was in your word four, five, eight hours a day working on this project. Truly, it changed my entire life. It changed my heart. And I have learned so much, not only just about your word, but about, and maybe more importantly, about our relationship. I have a much better understanding of how I am to fear you where my strength comes from and that you must become greater and I definitely must become less. Again, I'm not sure why you gave me this, this ministry, but I truly thank you for all the blessings that you have shown me, for how you've worked in other people's lives and for all the incredible work that you got done. I couldn't record 730 videos. It was only because with you all things are possible and I know that you made time for all those videos you made the technology work even when it didn't want to work and you brought incredible people into this project to work on it God as we move forward into the new year please allow your word to continue to reach the people that need to hear it Please allow this ministry to grow in the way that you want it to grow and allow me to listen very intently to what your will is for this ministry. That if it is to continue to work in community, if it's continuing to talk about people's stories, whatever it is that you want this ministry to be, allow my hands to do that work. Allow my heart to fill your passion 
and in all things let it be honoring to you God Psalm 19 verse 14 says may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing to you O Lord my rock and my Redeemer and God I pray that what we have done in this project is pleasing to you I pray that you will find it acceptable and that you will use it to your glory I love you very much I pray all this in your son's name Amen